Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Crazy Bat Lady, and today I want to show you how to farm stigmatas in Honkai Impact the Third. It might be incredibly confusing, especially once you first start playing, trying to figure out what's what and how to craft these. The first thing I'm going to talk about is SS Imaginons. Now, SS Imaginons are the building block of a lot of stigmatas. I'll flip through some of these and as you can see a ton of them need these. Like you need a holy metric shit ton of these to make stigmatas. So hold on to them. At one point I had a ton and now I'm struggling to get them. I wish I had my stockpile back. But luckily, there are a lot of sources that you can get these. But it's still going to take a while to farm enough to get your artifact sets. Now the first place is the Elite Works in the Battle Pass store. You can buy them here, along with some other good things. You buy five at a time for 200 Battle Pass points, which isn't too bad. There we go, got 10 of those. I'm gonna head over to the event section and pretty much every event that comes out, these are going to be in the event. Not all, but most of the time you'll find SS Imaginons in the events. So keep a lookout for that. Also these gift boxes um, can have them in them as well. You know what, I'm gonna open these right now. The ones that I have. I already got seven of them. What do we got? Okay, so it looks like I got five AE Imaginons and some other stuff, which is still fine. All right, now moving into the shop and where you can get them in the shop. Check your daily shop because sometimes there's good deals in here. And today, there's a 20% off deal on SS Imaginons. Imagine that. Now, I think that's worth it. I think that's worth it for that little amount. Uh, the Witch's Corridor, you can buy these. The Witch's Corridor is basically what you trade extra triple S rank puzzle pieces for in exchange for currency that you use in a shop. So it's, unless you have a ton of triplets Valkyries, you probably won't be using that a lot. Now in the battle arsenal, you can buy 25 of these a week. I highly recommend this as the pins are really easy to get and you can get this every week. The next part is of course the asteroid shop which unfortunately we all have to turn to at some point. Despite being how hard Asteroid is to come by, once in a while you gotta break down and buy some stuff from the Asteroid shop. Now, the other place you can go is do expeditions. And you can do a lot of expeditions. Like, this only costs 16 stamina. And see, the other ones cost 18 stamina, and you also get the um, phase shifters too, which is really nice. So you can farm those a certain amount of times a day, and you can also send your ladies out on expeditions too. Although the drop chance is lower, I believe. This is definitely a good way to go. If you're feeling lazy and don't want to do a bunch of farming, or just want to check in, come back later. It's a way to go. Now the best way to get these is, of course, doing adventures. Doing the bounties. Because sometimes you can find five of them in a quest. This is rare, but you can find five sometimes and four other times. And so just refresh. Um, you, you have 15 refreshes, so you have enough time to look through those. Look for your... AE Imaginons, SS Imaginons, uh, whatever else you might be looking for, Spatial Lens, 
talk more about those later. Now, if you're really lazy, like me, you can use the boosters and just auto complete the quests. The next ingredient you will need to bake your no, honkai stigmata will be honkai pieces. Luckily for you, they are very easy to get. You can just head on over to the coin shop and buy them, buy the fives, and you can buy a ton of them that way. You can also get them on expeditions. I highly do not recommend that. And you can also beg for them at the warehouse if you want. Um, also from bounties, again, I really don't recommend that. And sometimes they just drop in story time. So they're pretty easy to get. You probably have some of them laying around. And if not, you can get them with coins. So not too bad. Next on the list is ether fuel and crystal lights. Now ether fuel, is an ingredient that you are going to need a lot of and i mean a lot so make sure that you're farming these daily you can get them from the universal mirage i'll talk about that more in a second and from the tactical training and co-op which apparently isn't available right now but that is a good place to get them. Now, Universal Mirage is also where you get all of the crystal lights in the game. They are all different tiers and will come from different levels. You can also ask for the crystal lights at the warehouse, which a lot of people seem to do. That seems to be the most asked for thing. Now, anyhow, head over to the universal mirage right here and you've got your ice crystallites your fire crystallites your electric crystallites and your physical slash other crystallites now they're all different tiers the higher tiers are going to give you more ether fuel and the different type of crystal light like here is the a tier three or g3 do keep in mind that they all cost swirl tickets the highest cost being a hundred and the lower tiers costing a little less there are levels that will have two different types but they will be less than when it's just one type i'm just going to do this quick stage because i need these Oh, my controller wasn't on. Matter. Okay. Bring out the bird. Zappy, zappy. Switch to Mobius and Shabam. They're all dead. <laughs> Probably didn't even need all the setup there. But you get the idea. Um, most of all, they're for the most part, they're pretty easy. If you have a good team going, um, the higher tiers are obviously more challenging. And in the physical tier, there's actually the it's actually the only one that has G4. And you get these tickets once every day at four and two on Friday to Sunday. So make sure to spend these. Think of it like your stamina or your resin or whatever. These will not go over six. So make sure to spend them. Even if it's something like you don't feel like doing much, just do one of the low tiers for the ether fuel or the high tiers if you feel like you can do that. Because it's worth it just for the ether fuel, even just a random crystal light, just spend your tickets. Moving on to some more fundamental items is going to be the spatial items, starting with the spatial lens. These are a little bit of a pain to get, but you can always buy them with asteroid if you need to. So they are a little pricey, but 
if you need them that is a good way to get them probably the easiest you can also buy them in the battle arsenal this is one of those things i recommend buying every single week like both imaginons as they're cheap the next thing is from the master's shop but this only applies if you're a sensei and have a lot of points <laughs> and you can also get them from open world bounties they will show up sometimes in here obviously not right now but you can get like three of them at a time i believe so you can always get them that way also they'll show up on the battle pass even in the low tier the next item and probably the most hard to get out of all these is the spatial convectrons these only drop from a couple places so they're quite hard to come by one place being the elysian realm and the elysian shop if you head over to the shop you can buy them for 10 elysian credits a piece and you can buy 10 of these a week so probably a good buy there and also if you head on over to the mirage store oh i forgot to mention you can also buy the crystal light here um in exchange for your ether fuel and also where you get your time swirl passes but you can buy these using stigma resonance i really wouldn't recommend using your stigma resonance on this as there's other stigmatas that you should be saving this for that are much better and you cannot craft so don't do that unless you have a ton laying around the other is the weekly challenges for the elysian realm if you can do these um you can get i believe 10 a week plus a bunch of crystals and crystals are always welcome so yeah make sure to do these if you can because these are the only ways unless it's from an event these are the only ways to get the spatial convectrons at the moment there's all they also show up in the battle pass i think only the first paid tier but i'm not sure on this i think they show up on the second paid tier as well but i'm not sure if they show up on the free to play tier which is unfortunate when forging stigmatas most of the time you're going to have to make a lower tier stigmata turn that one into a higher tier and so on and so forth kind of like evolving pokemon and it also saves resources as here you can see monet costing a lot less when you have Nagamitsu to level her up. This is also important because the G3s more often than not will require you to have a G2. Like here, Ishikawa Guaman requires me to have Monet to make. But very worth it. Because her two piece is very nice. I do have to mention that the new stigma crafting system is much much easier to use than it used to be you used to have to collect specific fragments to level them up and it was very confusing i'm glad that they changed them into being crystallites all right now there are a lot of craftable stigmatas so really keep in mind and check them all out being that they're such a big investment just figure out what you really want to make there are some lower tiers that will hold you off for a while they're just kind of something you can make until you get something better 
And there's actually a couple of really nice sets down here in the low tier, like Fuhua Musician. This set is actually amazing. It's really nice for support and sometimes for damage dealers alike. I recommend everyone have at least one set of this because it's just, it's really good for how cheap it is. And of course this gets better with leveling. All the pieces are pretty solid. And there are some more in here that are nice to have. Like Teresa Gluttony. That one can be nice to use. It leaves candy all over the place. Uh, the Darwin set's okay. Although there are better lightning sets. Uh, Rasputin. Marco Polo. Not too bad at all. But for the most part, you're going to want to go for the G2 and G3s. There are some G1s that are nice. You got Shakespeare. Um, Fuxi. The Fuxi sets, if you can proc the status effect often, like if you can make, like for this one, for instance, if you can have the enemies be frozen like all the time, you're going to gain a whopping 50% elemental boost. So it's kind of niche, but if you can get that to work in your favor, these are amazing. And there's also the paralyzed and there's the ignited version as well. And fails is definitely a must craft. If you have a fire DPS and you need a middle, this is a very good stigmata and you can craft her using Higo Kumaru. Highly recommend this one. Of course, there are too many sets in here to recommend, uh, as every character needs something different, so to speak. Robert Perry is mention worthy. But yeah, um, the big thing here is make sure you farm your SS Imaginons and your Ether Fuel, as you're going to need thousands of these. And of course, these spatial convectrons and lens, those are going to come very slowly. But just make sure that you farm the shit out of these because you're going to need a lot. And I mean a lot. So anyways, I hope that you found this helpful. Um, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Honkai Impact content. And have a nice day. Bye.